The next thing is that why should people decide? What are the reasons that people should decide? Now we'll just begin from the beginning. That on 15th August 1947, India got independence. People used to fear the British government and did not agree with their decisions. When the struggle for independence started, there were several people who participated in the struggling process, in the process of getting the freedom and they got inspired with the decision making quality. They saw this thing, they felt this thing, that why it is important that a person should have the right to make the decisions. Ideas of freedom were introduced by the freedom fighters. Those were the people who made a crucial role in the formation of the constitution also. They were also faced backlash and were, you know, they faced opposition from everyone because they criticized the decisions of the British government. This is a picture that what happened. This is a very old picture which you can see the black and white quality of the picture. Now, what happens that in 1885 Indian National Congress, that is the Congress party which we commonly know, know it as the legislature. So, it de demanded the legislature a right to ask questions and discuss about the budget by the elected members. So, it says that everybody should have a right to ask questions and discuss. Why it should be like that, that you people will decide, you people will announce and then we will have to follow. No, we should have a right to ask questions and discuss. This is what was demanded. Then in 1909, see the year in 1885 they demanded and in 1909 this right was provided. So, the government of India act allowed, then there was an act passed which says the government of India act and it allowed the elected members, not everyone only the elected members because the elected members are our representatives only that is why. So, they were allowed this freedom, okay, you can ask the questions and you can also participate in the decision making. That time also India was under the control of Britishers because I am sure that you know the year in which we got freedom was 1947 and we are talking about the year 1909. What happened next was right to vote. Now, what happened was after independence, Everybody was given the right to participate in the decision making process and that was through the right of universal adult suffrage that was given. The hopes and the dreams of the freedom struggle have been made solid in the constitution of independent India that set out a fundamental principle of universal adult franchise. So, how do we ensure that the right to freedom remains the same, remains in those high spirits with the same thought and the feelings as it was given to each citizen by ensuring that universal adult suffrage is practiced without any partiality in the country because not everybody can go and sit in the assembly not everybody can take uh, be the participant in the decision making process but what we can do is once we are either of 18 years or above we can choose a person who is going to represent us. Now, what happens people and their representatives? So, basically the idea of democracy is all about the people's participation in the political process. Democracy is all about the participation of the people. By now, I am sure you all know this thing that what is true, true democracy means. It is based on the concept of consent of the people. Because if I say no for something, that thing cannot be practiced in a country because if I am saying no, that means many other citizens, lags and crores of the citizens of which are of the same mind as I am will always say no for that particular thing and uh, anything that is being discarded by the citizen cannot be practiced in a democratic country. Now, the decision by the people makes a government democratic and also decides its functioning. So, how do we make sure that this is a democratic government by practicing the right to vote. Political parties. The idea of democratic government is that the citizen of any country is an important person and the government and other public institutions they need to have a set of rules on which these citizens can trust, the rules which these citizens can follow. There are few, these are the icons of some famous Govern political parties, it's BJP, Congress, Samajwadi Party and AAP Party. Now, people elect their representatives to the parliament and then the government is formed from these elected representatives. 
look what is happening over here there are people who are standing in a queue this queue is about waiting for their turn to go and cast a poll the parliament which is made up of all the representatives together whoever we elect from different different parts where do they all go they go to the parliament they sit there together they regulate and directs the government in this sense people to the direct representatives forms the government and also keeps control over it again this is a line in that there were all the people standing and this is a line where specifically females are also standing and why are we showing you this picture to show that there are few places where there is no discrimination that only males can do and females cannot